Hi everyone. So so far we have learned all the bits and pieces associated with the Docker ecosystem. So we started off with the Docker daemon followed by the container manager container D. We also looked at namespaces, control groups and overlay file system. And then finally we looked at, a, at the creation of a Docker daemon. And Docker daemon eventually invokes run C and run C is the application that actually runs a container process within. So uh, now run C is an, uh, is, an, uh, is an independent application and it follows the OCI spec. So as you can see here, you know, if I type run C here, you don't need anything. It tells you what are the features available and what, and what all things you can do with it. Now, what you want to be wary of is uh, for run C to execute, it needs the Docker content. And how do you do that? So what I do here is I create a Docker container using Docker create nginx and export that as a tar file. And this tar is extracted using the tar command and extracted into a folder by name rootfs. So let's try this. One thing that I want you to be wary of is this works only as a root and not as a sudo over on an Ubuntu machine. So it's looking for the rootfs, so let me provide it one. Now I run this command, so you know you can see that it is extracting nginx related stuff into that folder. Now the next thing is run c spec, so we have seen this earlier. So when we look into the spec, we can see that, oops. Uh, it creates a file by name config.json and it says clearly what it's, it is. So the user ID and the group ID are zero. The, arc, the first program that gets executed is shell, the environment. This is the path variable within the container. Now the path is rootfs. So this is where the program starts executing from. These are the different mount points. So this is a proc, dev, there's a dev pts, dev shim. So, and this is, these are the important ones, this FSC group. And this, these are the devices that, so it says that, you know, RWM should not have any access. These are the namespaces that it has. So this is how uh, Docker, uh, sorry, uh, run C's config spec looks like. Now in order to run this application, from here, all that you have to do is we say run c run rootfs. So, and you can see that we are already in the container. So, this application has been launched and we have been put into the container. Let's list the contents and see what it is. Yeah, so it's the same as what it was there in the root rootfs folder. Another thing that I want you guys to be aware of is you know to understand the internal workings of docker you can use this s trace command so here i'll say nginx so it tells you clearly what is happening under the hood right so if you can see here what you can see is you are making a post request to containers create so this is that we discussed at the very beginning of the course and what it's doing is it's making a post request to this and the uh, and the user agent is is docker client and not a web browser so it goes there and then it looks for in case it's not the image is not available locally so it looks for the image uh, locally and if it's not available it pulls it from the remote repository so let's change this to something like you know uh, Python will be a big one, so I can think of Mongo. So now we can see that you know this time it's making a get request. So this time it's it could not find it locally, so it's trying to make a get request into the Docker Hub, and it says you know there's nothing called MongoDB that is existing. So if you if you type something that is existing in the system, it will pull that. Then there's something called P3. 
not sorry um, PS, PS3 so this is another utility with which you can see which are the containers running on your machine and what is the status of each and every container but it looks like we are not running, running anything right now so let's run one and see see what does it show this time now you can see this container D and it's running nginx here so these are the things that I wanted you to be wary of so using these tools called ps3 and systrace you can actually trace the internal workings of docker thank you for listening